Hi, today we're having a look at the QSC QSYS Core 250i Open Architecture DSP processor. It's a really, really powerful unit with a pretty amazing amount of connectivity. It's a, it's a real mouthful of a name. It man. is, it is difficult. And, and yeah, look, I mean, it's, it's, that's, I guess, sort of indicative, as you say. It is a really powerful product, and there's, mm. a, there's a bunch of different stuff you can do on this. Yeah, I mean, it's really only limited by uh, your imagination and, I guess, the problem at hand that you're solving with it. Yeah, look, I mean, you could you could use this uh, to control distributed audio in a mm -hmm. bar or a club or a venue, mm -hmm. or you could use it to do uh, echo cancellation and conferencing. Mm -hmm. it, the whole thing about the open architecture, and I think we should explain this for, yeah. for everyone, is that basically on the back of the unit, there are eight card slots, and each mm -hmm. of those card slots can carry four channels of audio in or out of the core. Mm -hmm. um, Audio cards you can put in there include either a mic line input card, there's a high performance mic line input card as well, uh, a line output and there's a data port output card mm. as well. Mm. Um, so you can configure the slots to be any array of inputs or outputs up to a total of 32 of one or the other or 50-50 you know, split, however you like. And once you feed those signals in, basically they get digitized uh, you can control the gain on the mic preamps and phantom power and things like that, obviously. But then whatever you do with them is, is it's like you draw a signal flow map and mm -hmm. you route things by drawing lines from boxes to other boxes. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really cool. Yeah, I mean, it's great. I think the, the really unique thing to me uh, with this unit is the uh, some of the connectivity on the back. There are four USB ports. It's not really very common on open architecture DSP. And you can actually connect uh, external USB drives and stream audio into it. Well, you can you can load audio actually mm. into the core, mm. um, and that's not the only thing that stores on the core. Uh, what I really do like about this is obviously there are additional accessories. There's extra I/O, and that mm -hmm. that connects uh, via the QLAN um, protocol, which is basically gigabit Ethernet. Mm. Uh, there are a set sort of list of, of switches that's been tested through, but you know mm. any decent switch is probably going to do the job, mm. um, and, and you can. Uh, run an additional 64 channels of audio to or from or a combination of to and from mm. up to a total of 64 channels into the core and you can pick those from mm. up to 1024 on the network. Mm. Now the really cool bit for me is that when you configure this you do it with a laptop and you, know, you can have touch screens with backgrounds and things like that and the whole configuration all the names get stored into the core so you, you basically you upload the configuration tell it to run and it doesn't matter if you, know, you have a Stegosaurus walk on your laptop the next day, you can still go out, buy a new laptop, download the core designer software and access the configuration in its entirety. You're not going mm. to lose graphics and things like that. Yeah, look, that's a common problem, especially with uh, early open architecture DSP. Unless you actually had the, the same program running on your computer, you could not get the structure out of it. So that's a, that's a huge advantage. And, and control systems in general. Yeah, you know, exactly. Whether it's exactly. automation or lighting, whatever. Mm. Um, and the other thing I really like is that you can access it through a LAN connection. Mm. You control it via LAN. Um, there's another piece of software which allows you to manage the cores and name them and things like that. And you don't even really need to know how to set an IP. Really? Yeah, it, it, it manages to be self-discovering on the network. Right. So the actual IT side of it's mm. very nice. It's it's been it's been well thought out and it's sort of self-managing. I mm. think that's I think that's very clever. Yeah, that's great. So Jimmy, the front panel, uh, it's very, very basic. Uh, there's only two buttons on the front. They, uh, I've pushed them and they don't seem to do anything. When, when this goes into an install, how do you set up control? Well, they do stuff. They, they, <laughs> they, they change diagnostic information on the, uh, on the display, oh, but that's right. about it. How you set up control is really gonna depend on the application. Mm -hmm. um, if you wanna have very full control, then obviously you'd leave a computer in there with either designer software, or you can build these what's called UCIs, which is, mm -hmm. I think it's user customizable interfaces or something like that. Um, and you can access these UCIs through a UCI viewer software. It is PC only, but hey. Mm -hmm. um, you can also access them through an iPad. You right, download the, iPad there, there is a QSC app, which you mm -hmm. download, uh, which is free download. And then as long as your iPad is on the same Wi-Fi network, uh, you can then access the UCIs and you can set up permissioning on things like that as well. So mm -hmm. you can basically give people as much or as little control mm -hmm. as the situation dictates. Okay. And I would assume through the LAN port and uh, the RS422 uh, compatible with AMX and Crestron control? Uh, yeah, look, there, there, is, there is probably serial, uh, or actually no, you can do serial or LAN control. Um, 
it does rely on having a bit of knowledge on how to write yeah. a thing called Lua code, mm -hmm. uh, which I didn't really get into. But yes, it is definitely possible. Excellent. So freely customizable and pretty much do anything you want. Yeah, and very, very powerful. I believe you put a test design into this and didn't even get close to... 4%. Wow. Yeah. And that was for a real situation okay. in a real venue. That's fantastic. So there you go. QSIS. Mm.